Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is day 10 of my two-week fat loss challenge. This is Terrence Deerman. How y'all doing? Uh, so, I just made it to work, and what I'm doing now, I'm going from one end of the terminal to the other end of the terminal because I'm working in another terminal tonight, and that is 4,900 feet. That is in uh, terminal... You are right. Yeah, that's all the way at the end, basically. And I heard it was like 3,000 something feet in a mile, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. If it's 4,900 feet, that's almost 5,000 feet. That's like a mile and a quarter or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna be running, slash jogging, slash walking, slash huffing, and you know, struggling trying to get there. So uh, I'm not gonna check in too far. I'll probably check in like halfway when I get there to see how I'm gonna do, and then that's it. So. Catch y'all later. Oh, this is like when I first come in, too. It's like when I first get to work. So it's one exercise now, one exercise during my break, uh, another exercise uh, which is running when I get off. So if I only have, since, I'm, since this is day 10, I only have four more days left. I try to, I have to lose as much weight as I can in four days to see where I am. I'm going to keep going, but just, I want to just really try to see how much weight I can lose in two weeks. I already lost four pounds. I want to see how much I can lose more. I'm like, Will I gain some? Will I lose some? Whatever. So I'm going to catch uh, back with y'all later. Yo, so I just passed up the halfway point which is uh, the hotel. This is almost directly in the middle anyway. Now I'm heading to Terminal C. After that, straight to D and E and uh, that'll be a mile and a little bit more. Catch y'all later. Terminal D, 1,300 feet. That means I just passed up Terminal C. Now I'm about to head the rest of the way. Oh man, it's a hard work. And you know what, it's a good opportunity to do this before I start working because it's not like my job is like physically demanding, like really a lot, but there is a certain amount of stuff that we have to do bending over picking up stuff you know using our arms a lot so uh doing this running and then working uh through the through my shift it's a good like whole workout so it's like if i'm starting this little run it's like you know warming up for the day so this is like a warm-up slash workout and now i have the rest of like seven hours to finish my workout because not only am I working and I'm burning calories doing that, but on my breaks, or at least my first break, I'm doing exercises too. I'm doing a whole nother workout, a little smaller workout that's more intense. Similar to this run I, I'm having. Oh, I'm not running now, but because I'm talking. But you know, if you think about it, it's almost like working out for like maybe four hours in one day. You know, through the whole thing. Well, actually, like six, seven hours, depending on how, how, how hard you work while you're at work. You know what I mean? If your job is physically demanding. But no, just talking. I'm about to finish the rest of this run because I know they're waiting on me. Look at that, y'all! I made it. Bam! Terminal D and E. One whole mile from Terminal A, or well, a mile and so many feet, all the way from the other end of the airport. Ran the whole way, well, ran slash jog slash walk slash crawled here. Worked up a bit of a sweat. I'm not sweating as much as I usually, usually am because they got the AC on. You gotta watch out because you can catch a cold doing that. Also, yeah, I'm taking, taking the escalator. I gotta give my, my shins some rest. Cause they were starting to hurt real bad. Like I could keep going, but it's just my shins are hurting. And I heard when you get shin splints like that, you know, at night you gotta ice them down real good so they can, you know, try to repair themselves quicker. I haven't been doing that. I've just been going through it. Make sure I, uh, you know, have my orange juice in the morning with some calcium. You know, hopefully that'll, I guess, help repair it faster. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a nutritionist. So I'm at work. Finally in my, t finally in the place I'm, I'm supposed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and I'll catch y'all on my first break with the other workout. Peace. Alright y'all, what's up? I'm 
moment break. So I'm about to do the workout that I did uh, yesterday a couple days ago, something, something like that. And it's the, I'll give you the link in the description and I'll also put a video uh, maybe in the corner or something like that. So you can click on it so you can go and do the workout yourself because you're probably going to pass me up. I ain't going to be able to keep up anyway. So I'm going to do as much as I can and I ran a mile. I ran a mile already uh, before I started working. And now I'm working, you know, and now I'm on break and I'm about to do this workout. So I'm doing as much as I can to the best of my ability. So I'm going to do this. Ready? Oh, can you see me? Go back farther. Further? Mm-hmm. Further? That's it. Are you? Yeah. Come up on my jacket. Yeah, so it's kind of a little embarrassing because I can't do that much right now. Because I know if I keep going, I'm eventually falling fuck on my face. I can't do that. So later on, on my next break, I'll try to do a safer exercise for now. And then at the end of the night, I'm going to do my runs. But I did as much as I can for right now. You know, I don't want to hurt myself.
So it is now the end of the night, and after embarrassing myself with those horrible excuses for a workout that I tried to do earlier, the workouts, I mean, the, the exercises was great. The workouts that I did, like just the way, just me doing them, nah. So, making up for it, I'm gonna do this mile run again. Run slash walk slash jog slash crawl, you know, from D to the other side of the airport. So, I'm not taking the train. I'm gonna get my coworker my backpack, and uh, I'm gonna see how fast I can get there. I'll probably try to time myself or something like that. So, you won't be hearing too much of me talk, but uh, I will uh, maybe say a couple words when I get down there. So, I'll see y'all there. Peace. Yeah. So, I didn't have much of a good head start. So, the train that my coworkers was on is probably gonna pass me up. So, I'm going to try to get, at least get to be before or the same time that the train does. I'm almost there. Woo! <sighs> yep. Had the train go. That's Terminal B. I go to the train. This is me. Doing what I could do. Grinding hard. I could get on the train, but I ain't going to. I'm going to run the rest of the way, at least try to, I ain't trying to rhyme. So right about now is where the train passes me up, so here you go right here. There it went, and I kind of failed, but that's alright though. I fail and win at the same time, because yeah, even though I failed to beat the train there, I'm winning because Having that trainer's motivation to beat is making me push how push my workout that much harder. Sorry if I'm breathing too hard, but uh, it's a hell of a workout right now. So I'm gonna catch y'all when I get down there. And I finally made it. Hey, just not getting off the train. So they over there at the elevator. I'm gonna see if I can catch them right quick before they go in. Wow, man, you did it. Oh my god, you're gonna pass out song if you ain't used to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at all these breathing so good. When you take off, you don't supposed to do that right off the back. Oh, we don't need to be coming. <laughs> hey, uh, so I finally made it home. And so I guess my final words are, like I said before, you know, work hard. Um, if you really want to lose weight, lose the weight, you're going to work at it to, to, to do it. Uh, don't try not to slack. Try not to cheat too much. Uh, hey, you can cheat, but don't do it too much, you know what I mean? If you snack here and there, make sure you document it, make sure you remember what you're doing because that means you're going to have to work that much harder to get it off. You know, don't go so far, you know, just to just to take steps back. Uh, also, since I only ate one of my lunches today, well, not my lunches, but like one of my meals today, I gave the other one to my coworker, so... Instead of having like the usual four meals or three meals, I'm just gonna have like I need that meal I had earlier and a smoothie. Uh, it's gonna be made out of watermelon and pineapple, and I'll probably put some protein in there also, just so I can have some uh, protein for uh, the workout I just did. That was a, a long run, and I'm kind of like dehydrated and everything, so I'm gonna get some water also, and uh, I'm gonna head to bed because I'm tired sleepy you know, I'll probably edit this video first but yeah so this concludes uh, two, my two week fat loss challenge day nine I think yeah I'm at this piece I'm at this piece yeah alright